The first mistake this movie can make is not giving Sam Wilson the super soldier serum. Now listen, I know that kind of goes against what he wants as a character, and that's kind of what makes him different than C. Rogers, but at the same time, I kind of don't care. This dude is going to be fighting the Red Hulk, members of the Serpent Society, and who knows what in the next Avengers movies. I'm not trying to say that Sam is like a terrible fighter or anything. I'm sure he could kind of hold his own, but if he's going to just be defeating all these people as a regular guy, I feel like it's just going to end up feeling a little bit goofy. Sam Wilson is 100% getting the serum in Captain America Brave New World. You cannot tell me he does not need it. He is going up against the Red Hulk. How is he going to stand a chance against that? Genuinely look at Red Hulk here. He is absolutely massive. The veins are popping out of his shoulders. Not to mention, in the comics, he has fire powers. So I don't know if that is going to play an element in this movie. But imagine you're fighting a red version of the Hulk and he is just launching fireballs at you. He either needs help or he needs to become a super soldier. Because obviously in the MCU, Sam Wilson is a great combatant. He is taking on a lot of foes, but he is still just a human. So, since the recent trailer for the upcoming Captain America movie has come out, there's been discourse online about whether Sam should be given the Super Soldier Serum or not. Now, this is actually not the first time this has been discussed about him needing the serum or not. People were debating it during the finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier when this happened. <laughs> Now with that being said, I have a different perspective I want to come at this with and there's actually a few points I want to make. First things first, the main reason I think people want Sam to get the serum is really because, well, he's Captain America. So Steve Rogers was a super soldier and part of him being Captain America was doing super soldier things. And let's be honest, along with him being a super soldier, Steve is naturally very skilled and fluid with the shield. So I can understand with Sam now being Captain America, they also want him to be doing quote unquote super soldier things. There's also the fact that he's going to be fighting the Red Hulk. I think this is a stupid matchup to begin with. Red Hulk is way above Sam's power level. Hell, I wouldn't even put Steve up against the Red Hulk. He's just too powerful. But you know, that actually begs the question. Does this mean they're going to be nerfing the Red Hulk? Because that's a whole different conversation. Then again, this is the MCU, so it's par for the course. Now this might be a bit of an unpopular opinion but this whole discourse is part of the reason I was initially against him becoming Captain America. I think Sam works way better as the Falcon, he's a very versatile hero given how mobile he is. He can use his wings both offensively and defensively. And the fact that people want him to take the serum just shows how much his skills have been minimized. Yes, he might not be a super soldier but he's skillful in his own way so they need to capitalize on that and play to his strengths. Sam is at his best when it comes to his aerial combat so they need to use that. I should also mention this but do you guys know Sam can actually control birds? Sam has a telepathic link with birds so he can communicate with them. He can see and hear what they do and through this ability he can control entire armies of birds. This is probably the only criticism I've had of the Falcon in the MCU. They have adapted Ant-Man's ability to control ants and that's been well received. So I thought them not having Sam being able to control birds was a missed opportunity. And here's the thing, even if Sam were to take the super soldier serum, it wouldn't even be enough for him to go up against the Red Hulk. Like look at this, you think this serum is going to help Sam against this? I know these are fictional characters but we still need to be somewhat realistic. So not only does Sam not need the serum but the serum isn't even going to help him. This is simply just a power scaling issue. But these are just my thoughts, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.